now there's a new mindset that a car that is as it left the factory in its original paint and with its original interior trim and all the body panels matching and undamaged, well that's a survivor quality car and the preservation side of the business has really taken off. People are now very intrigued to find uh, cars that have just not been touched and have lain undisturbed. And it doesn't have to be a, a fabulous 8C Alfa Romeo, it could be a Model T Ford. Um, but the, the point is that it's something that's just not been touched and that's terrific. And it's a bit like finding uh, a painting in the attic or a, a Chippendale chair in, in the back room. You go, wow, look at this, this is as, the, uh, as, as it was made. You have to take a very careful view of how you proceed with that car. Um, and give it to an expert who absolutely recognizes the importance that the moment you touch something, you cannot undo it. Don't touch the paintwork. Don't touch the leather interior if you can help it. Don't change any of the instrument. If it's not a mass-produced car, and it's not just a derelict beater that's been junked since the 1970s, so with, if we're talking about a pre-war racing car, or a pre-war Bugatti, or a pre-war Alfa Romeo, or a Bentley, or a Duesenberg, whatever it may be of that nature, do not touch it. Show it for, for it as it is, with its original paint, with its original trim, uh, and let everybody understand the car. That's how it left the factory. Even if the paint was bad when it left the factory, it's the original paint on that bodywork. We won't put restorers out of business, and I hope we don't, because they do a great job, and they often do restore cars so well um, that it's a, it's a credit to their to their workmanship in so many ways. And there is a huge market for people who would like to have cars that are restored. After all, if you were like a girl wing Mercedes and you wanted in your own color scheme and your own trim, ask your restorer to do it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's a different animal to the unrestored as found car. And to answer the question about the future, yes, I think we'll see more interest in the preservation side of things, for sure.